Stimulus money is hard at work in the Duke City. The latest project is giving pedestrians some spring in their step and bicyclists pedaling a little easier. News 13 Sarah Warlick explains. Orange barrels and road close signs. They're not an uncommon sight along Albuquerque roads, but this construction isn't on the road. It's an overpass, but it's not for cars. For uh, bike riders, for uh, uh, pedestrians. The first part of the $7.5 million project is underway right next to Interstate 40 as it crosses the river. More than $5 million of the project is being funded through stimulus money, employing more than a dozen workers with an Albuquerque contractor. Former Governor Tony Anaya is the executive director of the New Mexico Office of Recovery and Reinvestment. He says the project is more than just an immediate boost. The initial purpose is certainly to create jobs, stimulate the economy, uh, but the ultimate purpose is to do it with a project that will have long-lasting benefits, and, and this is what's so wonderful about this particular project. There will be long-lasting. Officials say the project has been 10 years in the making, and the bridge is the first of its kind, giving bicyclists and pedestrians another option when it comes to getting across the river. Otherwise, you have to look at a Paseo del Norte, a Montano, a bridge, uh, you know, so there's that, that potential conflict between uh, vehicular traffic and pedestrians and, and bicyclists. But not for long. The bridge is set to open in a few months, just in time for summer. Sarah Warlick, KRQE News 13 this morning. So why isn't this bridge being built for cars? Officials say it would cost hundreds of millions of additional dollars and much more time. There could also be some legal issues. We saw that with the Montano Bridge. Anya mentioned that the Senate passed a bill giving millions of dollars to transportation projects across the nation, but it's too soon to know how that will all be distributed.